Hey guys, what's up? It's me. We're back for some more. There's nothing left to do but to do it. So that is what I will do. Oh my god, I'm a sweaty mess, and a defeated sweaty mess. I will not be able to land the kickflip without intense training. I have a newfound respect for anyone who can land a kickflip, especially whilst in motion. I certainly couldn't get anywhere near to landing it because simply I can't even ollie. So here I am, admitting defeat. For now, I think a goal in life, a great goal in life for anyone out there, um, is, to la is to land a kickflip. Just one. Once you got it, tick, off the bucket list, done. But it takes a hell of a lot of training to get there. And uh, that's training I just do not have the time for. So this video is titled, How It Feels the Day After Doing 200 Kickflips. <laughs> and originally I was just going to come down here and make a a talking video. Guys, I am literally sweating like crazy. I don't know if you can see it. I was going to come down here, just tell you guys how I was feeling physically, but then I got down here, I brought the board with me, and I thought, nah, I can do it. I can. All I've got to do is just stick at it. So I've been down here for about half an hour. The, st the sticking power is not what it was yesterday. I was down here for two hours yesterday. 200 kickflips, and I woke up this morning, and my adductor is just absolutely on fire okay 
inside here on my right foot I don't know why it is obviously using using that using those deep muscles deep muscle fibers um, for a, a contraction of an ollie you know what I mean using my yeah using my hamstring but also my adductor so I woke up this morning tried to lift my leg out of bed and I couldn't it was so sore it felt like it was gonna rip but I'm happy to say and obviously clearly it's gotten better throughout the day because I've been able to um, try again for half an hour and it doesn't feel too bad but yeah this morning it was absolutely absolute agony <clears throat> obviously lying there for you know without icing it a brand new movement I was expecting something in my body to become sore but I didn't expect my adductor to, come, to become sore and I actually got kind of worried for a second because my adductor is the only major injury I've actually had but I think it was on the other side honestly I can't even remember it was, it was a while ago but to be fair physically I do feel good I felt like shit this morning I feel better now I got sunburnt yesterday I got sunburnt today I got sunburnt the day before I've really got to look after I got to I got to put some sunscreen on I, d I did but it's just not it's it's I need to coat it on if I want to uh, have any chance against this New Zealand ozone layer free sun so once again guys I want to say thanks for watching it's been a pleasure this is me signing out from Christchurch New Zealand can I do a kickflip no will I do a kickflip maybe am I physically okay after doing 200 attempts at a kickflip in a two-hour period after not doing anything on a skateboard for 20 years plus. Yes I am. Am I mentally okay? Yeah, sure. But it's a, it's a bitter pill to swallow in the words of Conor McGregor. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out and have a great day.